While our supply chain remains fully operational as we chase what we see as extraordinary growth in consumer demand for our product. We, have, we believe we are well positioned to manage through the disruption, but at the same time, we are mindful of any COVID-related volatility and do what we can to meet consumer demand in partnership with our retailers in driving our operation as best as we can. You know, why no guidance? How much visibility do you have? Well, at this point in time, based on consumer demand, the, the momentum in, in demand for our product and the low retail inventories heading into the uh, holiday season, together with uh, the early start of the shopping season, we expect sales to grow in the fourth quarter, and we gave guidance of mid-single-digit growth for the fourth quarter. We actually also gave guidance for the full year uh, in profitability, and we do expect profitability uh, to grow significantly year on year. Uh, driven by uh, all the operational improvements and momentum we're seeing uh, at the company. So when you look at then products for the future, how do you monetize what you have, create new products, while not be tied to a movie franchise to avoid the area like uh, Hasbro did? Well, this is where the strength of our product offering and the brands that we own uh, comes into play. You're seeing growth in Barbie, you know, 30% growth um, in the quarter. As you said, this was the highest growth we've seen for Barbie in more than uh, 20 years. This is really all driven by, by great product innovation, um, uh, strong, strong product offering overall, effective demand creation, and what we see as very strong cultural relevance. Our toys have uh, a purpose. A part of our mission is to create innovative product and experiences that inspire, entertain, and develop children through play. So it's all about quality, safety, and value. And we're able to create products that do exactly that, and we see the uh, results in the numbers. Our products resonate very well with consumers, and our partnership with retailers in driving demand is working very well. As we heard just a moment ago, some analysts are concerned that you are getting pull forward demand at the moment, that it's not sustainable, that once we get back to normal, um, we are going to see behaviour changing once again. We're all playing Uno right now, but for how much longer will we be? And do you think kids will return to previous behaviour, which didn't work out quite as well for you? Well, we don't believe there's any uh, pull forward in the third quarter versus the fourth quarter. And in, and in fact, based on our own internal shopper research, we see that the vast majority of parents plan to spend the same or more on holiday toy purchases uh, through the fourth quarter. When it comes to more of a long-term perspective, the toy industry was projected to grow before the pandemic. Clearly, there, is, there are some benefits uh, during the pandemic and kids staying at home, but overall, the toy industry is a growth category. And it's been and always has been and expected to continue to be a strategic category for retailers. It's all driven by uh, today what we see, it's driven by quality product, trusted brands, and the ability of parents to offer product for children that will entertain and inspire them and add value. So, so yeah, but, you know, but what happens if we don't get another round of stimulus in the U.S.? How secure is that view? Different when people were still employed, maybe they weren't hit by furloughs, or there was a stimulus money to make that up? Well, we're seeing the toy industry as a whole growing and showing resilience in challenging economic times. Parents always prioritize spend on their children uh, and look for high quality product at affordable price points. The decision to buy a toy is not difficult. It's the items are not expensive and kids are important for all of us.